Hello and weekly update time. Uh, we are here at our flying site. We've met some locals. Uh, your name again, sir? Alex. Alex. Alex and a few of his buddies here. We, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> and one more in the background. Thank Andrew. Okay, uh, we just pulled up here and these guys were flying with Hobby King Gates and a few quads. And Toby has just been flying. Toby, what was that you were flying? You uh, show the people. XC90, is it? QX90. QX90. Yeah, that was good. Let's have a look. There it is. Yes, I think I want one. It's quite fun. Right? <laughs> yes, uh, nice small size there, Toby. Well done. Uh, we'll show you some more footage of that flying now because we've got the DVR running and then we'll keep on with the flying and this week's weekly update. Ta ra! There we go. Oh, you're in there. Thank you. Right. And she's gone. First, you're last. Yeah, very impressive that, so That's uh, some really smooth fly. Thank you. I like that a lot. Secretly, I'm super jealous, of course. Alright, so run for us the, the spec and build again, so. Uh, yeah, this is a dark side Arc 200. Uh, we've got a Foxy uh, Legend up the top there for uh, record camera, and then that's the Night Owl Plus for the FPV mm -hmm. camera. I didn't see that. Um, running at about 45 degrees uh, rake on that. Uh, v spec uh, 2205 motors, Raptor 30 amp ESCs, and a um, F3 flight controller, and bound up with a uh, Quantum Elite how 25 milliwatt VTX. Uh, how are you finding that 45 degree tilt? Is that optimum for you? Uh, I, I know guys, some, some guys run steeper, right? Yeah, actually, without a re recording camera, I'll run a little bit more rake, yeah. um, but I have to match the actual yeah. rake of, yeah, right. the, of the camera mount here. Yeah. Um, but that's fine for, you know, just for footage. Um, obviously, it's a little bit heavier when, when you've got the record camera at the top. Now, now, speaking of cameras, this is something Simon showed me. Uh, this is the mount, and what's that printed from, Simon? Because it's uh, a little flexible, right? Yeah, so this is actually printed on one of our uh, 3D printers. A new printer that's actually coming up, which is actually going to be really, really nice. We've had some great success. So this is actually printed in TPU, so it's actually quite flexible. Um, and what that does, it actually inhibits a lot of wobble that you actually would get from an FPV camera. Having this actually on a basically a dampener yeah. uh, will really smooth out the, the, the uh, FPV footage. Well, this is what I first thought when I saw it, because I thought, oh, Christ, it's loose. But in fact, it's not, because if you look at the mounting point there, you can see that it's just pivoting around it, because this is squidgy in layman's terms, right? It's flexible, rubberized plastic of sorts. Yes. That's its property. Yeah. Um, Most guys are running TPU mounts now, and they run TPU mounts on the, um, the actual FPV, yeah. uh, the, the recording camera as well. Um, this is actually, this has been printed on PLA, um, but we'll do a TPU version of this of this camera as well. Yeah, I, well, it was new to me, so I was pretty impressed by that, and overall Simon, I think, uh, yeah, that's a pretty sweet fly. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, what Toby doesn't realise is that I'm really taken with his little uh, nano quad there. It's the Q QX9, sorry very good with names um, and I'm gonna ask him if he has a spare battery to let me have a go nope no nope. but you do have a spare battery <laughs> you just won't let me have a go I have to see about that viewers safety third <laughs> he's already had a kid it's fine <laughs> yeah it's time for the mistake to be <laughs> dog you ready to give me a go yet <laughs> Yeah, don't pretend you didn't hear me. Sorry? <laughs> no, hablo en español. <laughs> the cheek of it. <laughs> so now you're ready to give me a go. Stay <laughs> You hit Simon's metal spine. Dum. This is the uh, Excalibur. Just came out yesterday. Really? Durafly. Like Hotliner. Mm. Yeah, similar to the Zephyr. Right. Ooh, hit that. But this is the. Just came out yesterday. So you just came out yesterday. You got for a fly now? Well, this is, you know, we've had this for a while. Mm. This nice. you know, pre production the version. This is the one we shot the video this with. This is the one we shot the video with that <laughs> released yesterday. So. But it's nice. Looks it's like fun. a blaze. Go get him, yeah. Tear yeah. mm. it up. Yeah, my first flight ever on the Excalibur, so I've seen other people fly it. 
Looks pretty easy, but I think I can handle it. So we got some action cams on the top and we'll take it for a ride. This is the walk of shame. Throw a shoe. Oh! He's alive though. Oh. He's alive though. Hey, he's alive. He's alive. Though. There's your Mobius. <laughs> he should plug it back in. I'm thinking Tundra 2, mandatory. <laughs> you do the A Dave. Alex, can you pull down a flap for me for one second? <laughs> it's, it's too bright, oh, it looks dope. Just reveals. So we got LEDs on the spars, LEDs all across the wing, the back, the wing inside tips. the plane. The wing tips for orientation, Stuart. We got red on one side, green on the other. We went all green and white, so how did this come about? Alex Davis, you guys will now know from our weekly updates. Uh, great pilot here, he did the work. We had extra pieces of a Tundra laying around. Uh, it wasn't full, things didn't work. It was a production sample early on. We were using it as spare parts, but Alex took it home, put it all together, added these bad boys for neat fare, and now he's about to take it for its almost maiden. Yeah. Not maiden, but maiden as it is fully lit up and I think if there's going to be a Tundra 2 down the line years from now that's good <laughs> that this should be included so let's see how she goes <laughs> so hey guys yes back in the office now uh you just got a chance to see here's the real devastation I was so sad when I put it in because I was flying it so nicely. It was my first flight on it, but I just lost it in the sun for a couple seconds. And when I finally caught it again, I pulled down on the elevator and it went the wrong way I thought it would. So getting another one coming, I'll build it up. And uh, who knows, this is gonna go on the wall probably as a uh, hall of fame because that's the first time I ever crashed at a show in front of everybody. It was both funny and sad at the same time. But what am I doing guys? We've been unloading the RV now that we're back in the office we got to get back to some videos guys I know a lot of you have been asking us about these uh, Alex and I are getting started right away these are coming very soon these are those evolutions and then we also have those ground stations that we saw people are asking about because we teased them in the Genesis product profile video. We've been teasing them for a while now. Guys, they are coming soon. We're getting to work on that. Um, as for the Need Fair though, guys, we want to thank everyone, especially Tom Hunt, the guys from SEFLI. Uh, you guys put together a great show every year. Uh, we went obviously in 2013 and 14. Didn't go last year, but it was glad we were glad to get back there. We had such an amazing time. We got three really great days of weather. Uh, it was amazing to meet all you guys. There's so many thanks we could give. Jim from RA Cores, uh, of course, a lot of the other vendors. Wayne from the Swap Shop. Uh, Al doing the lobster roll contest. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And then a few of the uh, people who went there who supplied some nice refreshments at certain times during the day. It was much thank you. And I apologize if I forget some names, but I've definitely Definitely see you guys again, I'm sure, not just at NEAT, but at other events. As for what we're doing here, I got another Tundra building this bad boy up, and then guys, um, we are definitely gonna put together a little video for you, because a lot of people were excited about that night Tundra that we were flying at NEAT Fair. He is up there now. So guys, we'll be sure to put together a little video uh, showing you how we did that with the LEDs, all the products we use, obviously products that we sell on HobbyKing.com. So again, guys, that's it for the NEAT Fair. We're excited about it. Thank you guys so much. We are off to the Maker Fair now. Next weekend, October 1st and 2nd, uh, we'll be heading to Maker Fair and we'll be bringing some 3D printer type stuff, uh, new stuff coming down the line. So if you are going to attend the Maker Fair in Queens, definitely come see the Hobby King tent. We'll have a small little tent presence and Alex will I be running around with cameras and stuff. Going to give you a recap. This is the first time I've ever done a Maker Fair. Want to see what kind of RC presence uh, is at the show itself. I'm sure there'll be a lot of drones and a lot of cool stuff, especially all that 
handmade uh, cool tinkering that people do. We can't wait to get in there and see what's around. So that'll do it for this week's weekly update, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.